Hi everyone! Today we're going to pick up where we left off on the last video about riding accurate 20 meter circles and we're going to look at 15 meter circles today. Now if you haven't already watched the 20 meter circle video, go back and do that now because it'll make a lot more sense watching this video after watching that video. And realistically speaking, if you haven't mastered a 20 meter circle yet, you probably shouldn't be looking at 15 meter circles yet. So the 15 meter circle is first introduced in first level dressage and it usually occurs in uh, two places, either on the RSVP line or at the A and C markers. Uh, that's where they occur in the first level test currently. So we're going to look at the math and where you need to ride your circle and place it to get your best mark. So again, we have my beautifully drawn dressage ring here, complete with numbers so that we can figure out our map of where we want to position our circles. and. The markers that we start them at. So we're going to first look at them from the RSVP line and let's say that for this day we're going to do our circle off the left rein uh, starting at V. So we need to do our math. We want the circle centered over V. If it's going to be a 15 meter circle that means that we need to be seven and a half meters each side of V, right? So we're going to come down the track, we start our circle at V now we want to be seven and a half meters which means that we need to cross the center line about four and a half meters this side of d and four and a half meters this side of x that's going to put us centering our circle over v okay so that's the first part the second part is how far across the arena we need to go so we know that our short sides are 20 meters long which is 10 meters plus 10 meters so we divide that in half we know that it's five to the first quarter line five to the center line five to the next quarter line five to the wall. So in order to make 15, we have five, 10, and 15. So we need to go to the opposite quarter line in order to make our 15 meter circle, right? So we come down the track on the left rein, we get to V, we want to be four and a half meters inside of D, touch the quarter line, four and a half meters inside of X and back to V. Now, if you watch the first video, you'll remember that I talked about riding your circle like the face of a clock. And in a 15 meter circle, it's a little bit more difficult because most of your points are now invisible. When it's a 20 meter circle, you have two or three points even that actually touch the wall. In the 15 meter circle, we actually only have one point now that's going to touch the wall. So V is here. That's our three o'clock mark. When we go to 12 o'clock, it's 4.5 meters inside of D. That's our 12 o'clock mark. So it's invisible. So we have to eyeball that a little bit. Then we get to nine o'clock which is on the quarter line, again invisible, and then four and a half meters inside of X is our other, our six o'clock marker, which is again invisible, and then back to V to complete our circle. Okay, so the second place where we're gonna see 15 meter circles occur in the test is at A or at C. Um, and this is a little bit of a different ride now because we need to center our circle over A and C down here or up at the top of the ring. So when we ride the circle at the A or the C end of the ring, we have to again do the math here. Let's say that we're going to do our circle at C for the sake of this video. So we need to again do the math of seven and a half meters this side, seven and a half meters that side. So it's easier going to be to go two and a half meters in from each wall, right? So we want to look at that. That our width of our circle is going to be two and a half meters each side of the wall. That's going to put us centered over C. Now we have to think about how deep we want to ride our circle. So again, simple math, right? We have six meters from C to G, and then we have 12 meters from G to I, right? So that's 18. So we need to bring our circle three meters inside of I to get to 15 meters, all right? Now we need to think about how far we need to go where we would theoretically be touching the wall we're not actually going to touch the wall, obviously, because we talk about 15 meter circles stay inside the wall. But if you were going to touch, we have to figure out how we make this circle round, right? So again, we divide 15 and a half, seven and a half. So we need to touch our points, our side points, our three o'clock and our nine o'clock points. We need to touch it seven and a half meters. So that's going to be one and a half meters beyond H, right? So you need to eyeball that as you're riding past C. Let's say we're coming around Let's go on the right rein for this one because we did the left rein already. You come down on the right rein. So you're starting your circle at C. So you go into your corner, you come to C, and now you're gonna look up and you wanna ride right your, so six o'clock. Now we're gonna go over to nine o'clock, which is gonna be one and a half meters just past where M would be if you're on the wall and 
two and a half meters inside of the actual wall. Then you're going to come up, you're going to ride to 12 o'clock, which is going to be three meters inside of I. Then you're going to go back down to three o'clock, which is again going to be one and a half meters past H and two and a half meters inside of the wall. And then you complete your circle back at C and that makes a round correct 15 meter circle. Hopefully you can master those and on the next video we're going to look at the 10 meter circles.